Hi everyone, it's Veronica and happy Saturday to you all. I'm so sorry I didn't film any videos last weekend. Um, I've been super busy and I also want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's been so incredibly patient with my um, with my Stila giveaway for the lip glosses. I'm, I have them right here, I promise they're still here. Um, I kind of have some big news and no, I'm not pregnant so don't ask me if I'm pregnant because I'm not, but I have some big news that I'm going to share on my blog on Monday, and that's kind of what's been keeping me so busy and so crazy um, these past few weeks. So I'll let you all know what it is on Monday. Um, but until then, thank you so much for your patience, and I am going to announce the winners of the um, mouse giveaway, the Windows um, Microsoft Windows mouse on my blog, and then also these hopefully within this next week and um, ship out all those prizes to everyone. So I'm just kind of here having my morning little teak because um, I did a bar method class this morning. It's so nice to start a Saturday off, you know, doing a great workout, feeling so good about how you're starting out your weekend. So I'm just now having my dose of caffeine, which I very, very much need. Um, anyways, I'm going to start my video off with something really special and so sweet. Um, one of my readers, Jennifer, um, emailed me a couple weeks ago and said that she had handmade some bracelets. And if she could send me one because she made a bunch of them, and she doesn't have anything to do with them. So um, I said, of course, you know, they look really cute and she is so sweet. And she sent me this adorable package that came in this really cute polka dot bag. So adorable. Um, and then she sent me these beautiful handmade bracelets. I'm going to come closer so y'all can see them. They are like, um, they have like these little gold, um, I guess it almost looks like a little chain that you pull, you know, on a ceiling fan, but obviously way cuter than that. And one of them's navy blue and one of them's pink. So I think these will look really cute, like stacked with my watch and everybody knows I really love gold accessories. So how sweet. And then she made this little notebook and it has like little pink paper in it, my favorite color. And I think I'm actually going to keep this in my purse because oftentimes like I'll get an idea for a blog entry or I'll just like think of something that, you know, is on my to-do list. And I have my iPhone, I have notes in there and everything, but I just think this is like so sweet and, you know, it says love on it and it's... It's just very me, especially with the pink paper on the inside. So thank you, Jennifer, so much for sending this. That really means a lot to me. I'm just so thankful and humbled by the amazing people that watch my videos and read my blog. So I really appreciate you all, and thank you so much. Um, okay, and this is just like a really small haul. Um, I did end up returning the... Ra I'll talk about some stuff I've returned. I ended up returning the Rachel Roy dress that I bought at Macy's. Um, it was about 100... The, the one with like the that was hot pink and it had like the printed flowers that I showed in my last haul video. And the reason I returned it isn't because I didn't like it. It's because I would have had to have it altered to be long enough to wear to work. And I did pay full price for it. So I may rebuy it if it goes on sale. And then that way, if I pay the extra money to have it hemmed out, you know, let the hem out, I won't feel so bad about spending like $130 on it. Um, so I did return that and I'm going to just wait for it to go on clearance or something. Um, and that dress does run small. So I feel like when it does go on clearance, there might be like more sizes left. I don't know. We'll see. But I did return that. And then I bought a pair of Aldo heels um, that I actually haven't shown in a video because I just ordered them like midway throughout the week. But I did post a link to them on my Facebook page. And they were like these nice pointed toe heels. And they were like that suede material. But the heel was like super skinny and it looked good in the store. But then when I tried to put them on at home and walk in them, it was just not doable. So I returned those as well. And I'm also returning um, to Target the Jason Wu dress with the pearl collar. I'm returning that today. And I'm also returning, regretfully, the t-shirt with the cat on it. After having tried it on again, it was just like a little bit loose. And I just don't know that I'll really wear it. I kind of like just got excited about it because it was a really cute design. But to be honest with you, like I don't know that I'll wear it and I'd rather someone else enjoy it. So I'm going to return those two things to Target today. Okay. Now, after talking about all the stuff I'm going to return, let's get to the real point of this video. And I'll show you what I got this week. Um, the first thing I got was Kerastos. Um, this is called Fiber Architect. This was actually re recommended to me by several people and has like amazing reviews online. Like I've never seen such positive reviews for a product. And basically, um, this it says it's for, it's called Renovating Dual Serum for da Very Damaged Length and Split Ends. And... Um, if you'll notice, I actually did recently get my hair colored and trimmed. This is what the bottle looks like. So this is a serum that's apparently supposed to help with people who have really damaged hair and split ends, both of which um, apply to me. So I'm going to test this out and let you all know how it is. I've used a lot of Kerastase products before, and it's honestly probably the best hair product line I've ever used. Um, 
it's very high quality and the products really do what they say they're going to do. It's expensive. This bottle I think is like $42. So, you know, it's not that big. Let me do a side note here before I show you the rest of the stuff I got. So I got my hair done last weekend and the reason I didn't film is because I was busy and whatever. But another reason is because my hair was kind of a disaster. Um, I got some highlights and the bleach pulled real yellow. So like I, I mean, I'm probably going to put pictures on my blog about this, but I basically had like huge, like streaky, like really, really blonde, bright yellow blonde highlights, like all through the top of my hair. And I'm the kind of person that really likes highlights, like within the lengths of my hair, like, you know, like underneath and on the sides, but I just had so much like blonde and it was so high contrast because she didn't put in as much blonde. So the pieces that were there stood out much more next to my natural color and it was not good. So I went to the salon on Friday morning I had her look, put a new set of low lights all through my hair, and then I also had her completely tone down the blonde. So I'm really happy with it now. You know, it's just, it's much, um, it's much more natural looking. Like I don't like when highlights don't look blended and when they really stand out. So I'm, I'm happy with it now, and I'll talk about the whole process on my blog. Okay, so Kerastase, again, it's called Fiber Architect. I'll let you all know how it is. Um, I tend to be very happy with all of the products from the line. Okay, so then I went, well, let me talk about J. Crew first. Um, when J. Crew was having their 20% off promotion online, I, I ordered, finally ordered this chain bracelet that I've wanted for a long time. It's the one with the pave crystal. So it comes in a cute little box like that. And this is just like, I've been wanting this for a really long time. It's beautiful. So it's basically like a gold chain bracelet with pave crystals on it. I'll just hold it up like that. Um, to give you guys like a really nice close-up view and it's just such a beautiful piece I mean on its own stacked with other bracelets um, I just really love it. It looks high quality. It's just very like trendy I don't know. I've just really wanted that piece for a long time So when it was 20% off I finally bit the bullet and got it And then I also got from J. Crew this cardigan. Oh geez um do I really need another pink cardigan? You decide. <laughs> Vote down below. Do, does Veronica need another pink cardigan? Yes or no? If, if, you, if you think I do need another pink cardigan, click the like button. <laughs> um, so this is just like, the reason I got this pink cardigan, number one, because it's super long and it has these little pockets on the front. And number two, um, I, I liked that this shade was more of like a bright bubblegum pink. I do have a cardigan from Forever 21 that I showed a few haul videos ago, but it's like fluorescent pink. I just haven't found myself wearing it because I feel like without a tan, it doesn't really look good on me. It's just too harsh. So I might either sell that in my blog sale or I might, I don't know, I'll figure it out. And then I have another, um, cardigan with gold buttons from Banana Republic that I really like, but it's shorter and it's also a darker pink. So I got this nice bubblegum pink one. I just thought it was pretty and I like the long ones to wear with pencil skirts and stuff. So that's from J. Crew. And then, gosh, I think I only got two more things here. I'm kind of glad I talked about other things in this video because I didn't really buy that much at all. Um, and then the other, so I went to Zara yesterday and I got this, um, it's a lilac colored tee and it's just very soft and the edges are rounded as you can see at the top at the bottom I'm sorry and then it has this pretty like bronzy rose goldish kind of zipper in the back and this was only $19.90 um, the reason I got this is because lilac is a really huge color for spring and I just thought it's so nice to have like simple tees that aren't t-shirts but they're still tees that you can tuck into pencil skirts and wear like a nice statement necklace with it for work and then you just look really put together even though this is a simple tee the fabric of it is a little nicer it does have the zipper detail in the back um, and it just looks nicer and more kind of upgraded than a regular old cotton t-shirt so that's it, $19.90. They do have another lilac t-shirt there that was more of like a sheer material and it looked kind of um I want to say heathered, but not really. Um, I just thought it was a little more casual looking than this one. So I did go with the one that looked a little more dressy. And then the last thing I got is this tunic from Zara. I don't know what it is with me in tunics lately, but I'm loving them. So it's this tunic from Zara. And as you can see, it has like a little gold um, detail at the neck. 
and it has, you know, these um, half sleeves on it, and then it goes all the way down. Now, if you were short, you could actually wear this as a dress, and it would be gorgeous as a dress. On me, I can wear it over skinny jeans full length as a tunic. I can roll up the bottom, or I can just leave it long and throw a pencil skirt on top, and this just makes for a really nice blouse. And I, I did get this mostly to, like, tuck into pencil skirts and wear over skinny jeans, but... I think that a lot of the times it's nice to buy a tunic because it's more versatile. You can wear it as a blouse, you can wear it as a tunic, you can wear it with leggings. It's really a piece that can look great in so many different ways. So I think like putting a navy pencil skirt over this and just having like the top of this as a blouse would be really pretty. And I'm just really attracted to these like paisley flowery sort of patterns. And I don't have a lot of blue in my closet. Like I don't have a lot of blue and turquoise and things like that. So I just thought that um, adding this color to my wardrobe would be fun. And honestly, you guys, that's everything. That's everything for this week. Um, I I did also order the Lola bench from Z Gallery, but I'm gonna and I've already posted about that, but it came in this week, so we're gonna have to go pick it up, and I'll probably just show it in some pictures um, when we have it all set up. And the last thing I'm gonna say is I know y'all are gonna ask, this nail color is um it's Mod About You by OPI. So I really like that pink. It's just such a pretty shade. Um, it's actually probably one of my favorite pinks ever. It just looks really like bright and bubblegummy and sort of like, I almost want to say it's kind of like Essie's Fiji mixed with like Butter London's Teddy Girl. It's like a really nice color. Um, so that's everything for this week and I hope you all have an awesome weekend and I will try to get some more filming done this week. Um, anyways, have a good one. Bye.